Hello, good day. This is Ajahn Brahm here uh, from Western Australia, and I'm wishing you all this wonderful achievement for holding the, uh, the video um, conference over many days, which you did. I'm sorry I could not have been uh, in India myself at the time, but at least we could do something uh, to support your great endeavours of the International Buddhist Federa Confederation. Excellent. So it's wonderful that, uh, that we have uh, organisations like the International Buddhist Confederation who can bring so many uh, senior inspiring monks and nuns from all over the world uh, to support the fact that even though that we may be separated by distance, we're not separated in our hearts, that we may sort of eat different food, but we practice the same Dhamma. We may speak different languages, but the language of uh, virtue, peace and compassion is one that comes out of the hearts of all Buddhists throughout our world. So I'm very happy to be of service and to give a, a blessing for you all, especially in the difficult times of COVID-19, but to know that like all things, it passes. And it's just how we, we behave and how we act and how we care for one another during difficult times. It really defines just our quality as Buddhists, as human beings, as practitioners. So I'll now give a, a blessing chant for all of you, whoever is listening now. Saba Buddha Nubhavena Saba Dhamma Nubhavena Saba Sangha Nubhavena Buddha Ratanang Dhamma Ratanang Sangha Ratanang Tinnang Rata na nang a nu ba we na cha tu wa si ti sa ha sa dhamma kanda nu ba we na pita ka ta ya nu ba we na jina sa wa ka nu ba we na sa be te ro ga sa be te Paya sabete antaraya sabete upadawa sabete dunimita sabete awa mangala wina santu ayu wadako dana wadako siri wadako yasa wadako Pala wada ko, wana wada ko, suka wada ko, ho tu sabada, du ka ro ga ba ya we ra, so ka sa tu chu pa da wa, ane kanta ra ya pi we na san tu, chate cha sa jaya si di da nang la bang, so ti baga yang su kang balang siri ayu cha wa no cha bo gang wu di cha ya sa wa sa ta wa sa cha ayu cha ji va si di ba wan tu te Very good. This short prayer is dedicated for the victims of COVID-19 global pandemic and for their families, for the medical professionals, first responders, and all frontier workers for serving and protecting and their efforts to overcome this global pandemic. Now I offer my short prayer. Sanjay Jodan, Sanjay Jamal, Sanjay Badu, Dane Jasu. 
Dewi Sanjee Tembe
শুনে শুরে বাসি পরে তুমি আরো 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 দাও দান পরে আরো 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 দাও Dear brothers and sisters in Dharma, on behalf of all Buddhists of the Russian Federation, I would like to congratulate all the Buddhists all over the world on the special occasion of International Vesak Month. For all Buddhists, it is an important month and not only for the Buddhists, but all over the world. This week, we have uh, con conveying global prayers in these difficult times. As we all know that we are going through the COVID-19 pandemic, not only in some countries, but internationally as well. First of all, I would like to convey our deep appreciation for the first responders, all the professionals who are serving humanity and those who are suffering because of this COVID-19 virus. I would also like to thank all the medical professionals, as well as various governments who have been providing support for the needy. Of course, this is a act of generosity, act of compassion, Good morning to everybody, most venerable members of Mahasangha, venerable ladies and ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me bless everybody by name of the Triple Gene uh, to good health and uh, prosperity for in your lives. Uh, we, everybody aware that this is a very critical time in the world. Everybody feeling uh, not very good health. Uh, they are suspecting when we are getting some illness or uh, something bad thing. Uh, so therefore, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, if we are living very good uh, health and very good condition, like Buddha saying, Arogya Paramalaba, that means uh, health is a good uh, benefit of the life. So we have to protect, our, uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, change our uh, our uh, attitudes and something, uh, not last time. 
So now we must uh, observe uh, the uh, advices and principles of the which is given to our medical uh, medical officers and uh, doctors. So please, uh, you have to obey uh, and bow to them uh, their advice and please uh, protect your health uh, because of we are uh, in very short time living in this world. Then uh, that time we have to uh, use very carefully. Uh, so uh, from you or from others, you don't get any Ill, uh, illness or some don't uh, lose your happiness. Therefore, my dear brothers, uh, I am as the clergy, we are always uh, gathering with a uh, lot of people and discussing and everything. So we must be very carefully and do everything to uh, benefit for your life. Uh, using this time, I would like to uh, bless uh, our uh, friends in Dhamma on behalf of the International, uh, International uh, Buddhist Confederation as a, uh, one of the members of the president of this uh, organization. I uh, wish uh, to everybody, uh, wish uh, every national center leaders and everybody uh, they are good health and uh, people they will bless uh, you. Uh, also, uh, I would like to uh, wish uh, His Holiness uh, Dalai Lama and other great leaders of the uh, in this Buddhist world uh, good health and happiness and long live uh, to uh, work the, to serve uh, to the people. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, last I. Uh, again, uh, I hope that you will obey every uh, advices and principles in medical uh, medical officer. We live triple gem bless you. Sabitu vajantu sabaroho vinasatu mati bhavatvantarayo suki dika yipo bhava. Hi everyone. Now I'm going to talk about the Buddha Chianity. I am Benerva Tauta Sinandaka. I'm from I'm Vice Chancellor of the Matuta Chikinda Buddhist University from Myanmar. Today is uh, Buddha Chianity. So this is uh, auspicious time for all of us because Buddha Jayanti Buddha Jayanti means the Buddha defeats all defilement also Buddha's enlightenment Buddha has attained omnism uh, Buddha has taken Sabinura Jnana today under the body tree. So everybody happy today. Today is a very outstanding day for all of Buddhist people because today also Buddha's Prinibana Day. Also Buddha had got some pretty or the previous Buddhas, Dibhangara Buddhas, to be future Buddha. Because Dibhangara Buddha predicted Sumedha Hamid to be the future Buddha as a Varma Buddha. After who film of his perfection. And at this body tree, Buddha uh, realized the form of a truth. Also, around this uh, body tree, Buddha stayed for about seven weeks, uh, reviewing, revising his uh, attainments. So that's, that's why almost all Buddhist people, they came to the uh, body tree, they worshipped the body tree. Uh, so that's why today is a very 
auspiciously. The UN, United Nations also recognized it. This is Wisa Day, the Wisa Kapona, the day of Wisa, full moon day of the Wisa, Oda, Chay Sabinuranjana. So that's why uh, today is very auspicious for all of us. So we have, we also keep in mind the Buddha teaching uh, for happiness of us, for happiness of all beings. Buddha, with the great compassion or a great loving kindness, contributes to all welfare of all the people in this world. In Dewa wa, Brahma wa, Human wa, so we appreciate the Buddha's message. Also, we try our best to contribute the Buddha's precious teachings. Also, we contribute our loving kindness to all people who who are suffering in samsara. So this is it. Uh, Buddha Janity. Today is Buddha Janity. We celebrate for uh, Buddha. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank you. I happy to know that IBC and ABCB who are organizing this prayer week for Corona victim. This prayer is dedicated to the global prayer week to prayer for the victim of the Corona pandemic. We also pray for the medical professional and all the Corona virus at the front line who are putting their lives on risk in saving others. All the difficult time I pray to the River Jane for the well being of the poor and needy and to and into Corona pandemic. Thank you. Kevada Kevada Alo Ninglava Lo Luko said that by us. Oh, yeah. The morning, yeah. To when you imagine it, and I did that. Buddha Kali Trinitarin Tony Do Tarama Zori Gadasa Badada Idanyana Psibare Dini Abje Kesulavi Bodhani Pidi Ali Oswa Tegavalo Daidani Abje Nesene Dai Jija Khanna Aswa Jibba Naija Do Lebe Dine Dichi Dine Ma Aja Ali Aswa Gobe Naiji Ka Soji Chayao Lare Atwe Jao Jija Khanna Aswa Jibba Kwe Maya Jaya Babu ဟုတ်တော့ကြီးကြက်ခန္ဓာစွာကျေးပေါက်ခွေမရဖေမဲ့လဲပဲဘုရားဘာသာများဖြစ်သည်အားလီယောစွာဘုရားဘာသာပြ
ตุรอมยาปวามยาชินบวนะลุงงาปริปัฏฐานยาโยภะชินมิมิเยอิมาชิโตพยาสิรุโรมยาอาจิตตะเปชินตันสิมิมยาภิปุโสชิอาภิป
Some day, Jimmy, To all the people who are going to view this short video and also I'm going to express uh, our uh, deepest, uh, my deepest gratitude to all the uh, people, the leaders, spiritual leaders, political leaders who work tirelessly during this very challenging time due to the coronavirus crisis. On behalf of all the Sermet monks, Sermet Tosum Noring Monastery's monks, First of all, I would like to share this very important point that is, during this world crisis, we all should work together. All the different countries and different citizens on this planet, the leaders, and citizens come together and bring the solutions to overcome this challenge. Uh, I have a uh, strong belief that we can overcome very soon from this virus through working together, leaders, scientists, virologist and so forth and this is our humble request then I would like to express our gratitude to the leaders and also the doctors who work in hospital selflessly nurses who work, who look, look after patients day by day, night by night, week after week. The cleaners, the caretakers who do their job extremely well on behalf of the communities. The security people who keep us safe So, we would like to express our sincere gratitude. Also, we would like to, I would like to express our sincere, genuine condolences to the families who lost their loved ones. And prayer and dedications to the patients who are in the hospital receiving treatments and in the in home. May they quickly recover from this illness and go into their daily joys and happiness. And now I would like to say a few prayers in English and Tibetan. May beings everywhere who suffer torment in their minds and bodies have, by virtue of my merit, joy and happiness in bundles measure. 
대다 콜와 제세도 남야 대레냐 마요 조벨라 남의 바이 대화 주메 제도 As long as they may linger in samsara, may their joy be undiminished, may their taste of unsurpassed beatitude in constant and unbroken continually, continuity. Jese namga ne padang doa jese ne Tese tane ne jone, dove dome se warajo. And may now, as long as space endures, as long as there are beings to be found, may I continue likewise to remain, to drive away the sorrows of the world. Dove dunge kangje anju, degu dala menjuroji, chanju sembe gendunji, dove tela jeoparajo. The pains and sorrows of the all wandering beings, may they ripen wholly upon myself. And may the virtues a company of bodhisattvas always bring about the happiness of being. So we are so grateful to the Venerable Dhamma here and all of those connected with the International Buddhist Confederation for the wonderful organization which they have done for this uh, virtual Vesak and the Global Prayer Week. It's wonderfully encouraging how many people have joined in this and been inspired during these very, very challenging times which we are all going through now. So I would like to offer as a contribution from Tunjigatsa Ling Nunnery, uh, the prayer of Shantideva taken from the Bodhicharya Avatara, the way of Bodhisattva. So, may all beings everywhere, plagued by sufferings of body and mind, obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of these merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall sick. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food. May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth, those weak with sorrow find joy. May the forlorn find hope, constant happiness and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all who are sick and ill quickly be freed from their ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power, and may people think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, as long as sentient beings remain, may I too remain to dispel the miseries of this world. 
Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Good morning. First of all, I would like to say Tashi Dele to all my brothers and sisters. During this hard time, affected by COVID-19, so many people had lost their life and so many people who are still fighting with their life. We are deeply saddened by this serious crisis and we extend our deep sympathy to all the victims of COVID-19 and their families and friends. I wanted to tell all the faction that try to be positive and be more patient with your sickness. It will be better for you to recover from the virus than just worrying. On behalf of all the monks of Devoloseling Monastery, I offer my special gratitude to the medical staff, doctors, nurses, and other support personnel who are working in the front line to save life at great personal risk. And also like to thanks to our Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji and the IBC. Their services are indeed compassion in action. I am concluding with my best prayer for an early end to this pandemic so that your peace and happiness may soon be restored. Thank you. Tambejanetanjabekodamdalachazelo, Tu Pawara The IBC has been doing a tremendously significant service for the humanity for a long time. The Global Prayer Week, they have launched it's a timely service during this pandemic. I would like to make use of this opportunity to uh, bless those who have been affected and those who have lost their lives during this pandemic. At the same time, I thankfully acknowledge uh, the enormous services rendered by the first and now in the health and the security sector working in the front line. 
ಸದ್ದೇತ್ಯೋವಿವಜ್ಜಂತು ಸದ್ದೋದೋ ವಿನಶ್ಯತು ಮಾತೆ ಭವತ್ಕಾಂತರಾಯೋಸ್ತಿ ದೀರ್ಘಾಯುಷೋಧವ brothers and sisters in the world buddhist prayer smith organized by the ibc that program team the vesak period you are very successfully organized vesak prayers blessing and messages beautiful messages from the all over the world from the buddhist leaders many people able to get benefit from there this is the wonderful contribution coming from the buddha's land is a great bring lot of differences the joy to each and every one of us that particular commemorating for the birth enlightenment and passing away vesak day is said be able to connect into the buddha's land which is previous year we never ever get able to get the chance we said practically every centers every buddhist been involving for many things but this particular way said be able to be quietly practicing our posata practicing our self development in monastery houses at the buddhist centers self practices bring lot of differences ibc done the wonderful contribution to reach out to the many people heart from the buddha's lay besak de even though social through social media through facebook we able to see both kaya kusinaga sarana and dumbin this is wonderful places we able to connect in that such a important day being lot of difference be now that such important day to be with that particular places bring lot of memories and lot of things for our self development cultivation purification one self mind appreciate it. thank you very much for the ibc organizing such a meaningful thing such a vesak day and also i had to re- a kind remind for the buddhist community with this economic downturn take a courage take a very strong inner spiritual development to not to go down according to the economic downturn economic economic according to the share market down you don't be down yourself be encouraged be mindful be courage lead this difficult period with mindfulness thank you very much highly appreciated thanks for the ibc organizing such a wonderful meaningful event for this particular period thank you bhutang sarana tachami da During this period of crisis, we need to prepare ourselves to face various challenges. And the biggest challenge that people are facing now is about the fear of death or the fear of losing one's loved ones. And the reality is this, that the process of dying has been going on from day one of our lives. From the time we were born, the cells in our body started to die. However, new cells also develop, and that's what keeping us alive. Our life energy actually depends on this delicate balance between the rate of the replicating cells and the rate of the dying cells. So if we look after this body well, it will carry on functioning for a longer time. But after some time, when this missionary in our body 
gets worn out and stops functioning, then we die. Death is certain. Life is uncertain. So why are we afraid to die? Because we have collected and accumulated so much stuff, so many things, from the time we were born until now. And we have been taught that this is mine, this is yours. So the idea of I, my, me, mine, this identity developed from very early days. When young, we collect toys, and when they are taken away from us, we cry. When we grow up, we make friends, we fall in love, we marry, we start a family, and when our loved ones fall sick or die, we cry. In order to take care of the family, we work very hard to own a house, an apartment or condo, a car and so on. Then we buy a lot of things and collect a lot of souvenirs to decorate our houses. Then one day we need to shift to a smaller house or apartment and we start to feel very sad because we can't take along all the things which we have cherished. So the list goes on and on. This is what grasping is about. We cling on to wealth, to relationship, fame and power and so on. All this strengthen that false notion of the self as I, my, me and mine. Without realizing that all these things, including this body of ours, are constantly subject to change. So when we are threatened with losing them, losing all what we have accumulated, we naturally become afraid and fearful. This is how the tendencies of grasping, craving and attachment leads to suffering. The whole teachings of the Buddha is about how to reduce and to overcome this grasping nature. And it involves our mind. We need to know what goes on in our minds. When we see something nice and beautiful, we usually attach a value or give a label to it. And then we keep on thinking about it as nice, beautiful, again and again. Because we have attached certain value to the things as nice and beautiful, naturally, we experience pleasant feeling or sensation. We feel good. Then we want to see those things again. That is how craving arises. The same thing goes on with our other senses. What we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we feel, and it's what we think and imagine. Now, take for another example. If you like to eat something, and I ask you to think about it again and again, and as you think about it again and again, you will begin to salivate. This is how you see how desire arises. Desire is a force. It is a force that drives us to get what we want. Once we get what we want, we feel satisfied. We are happy for a moment. This is what sensual pleasure is about. We obtain pleasures through the, through the senses. When we cannot get what we want, then we get upset, we get angry. That's how craving leads to attachment and aversion. And that's how suffering arises. Craving is the cause of suffering. Now, how did the craving and desire arises? It is actually through our own minds, by thinking, rethinking, again and again, again and again. If this craving force is something which we have created in our own minds, surely we can discreate it. How do we discreate it? Now this is what Buddhist meditation is about. It is about stilling the mind to make the mind still, calm and still. So when the mind becomes more and more silent, 
until it reaches a point when the very momentum of silence will eventually break the habit pattern of the mind to create thoughts. And when that happens, a real transformation takes place within ourselves. So when we see things, our mind is silent and quiet. We don't create further thoughts. So in the same way, when we hear something, we hear a sound, we feel or we taste something, our mind is silent. We don't create further thoughts. So that is how we reduce and eventually overcome the tendencies of grasping. And that's how suffering can be ended. It may take some time, but if you persevere, if you persevere, you put in the right effort, you are persistent and consistent in your practice in order to break the strong habit pattern of the mind, that strong habit pattern of the mind of thinking, rethinking again and again. But if we make a strong determination, then we follow up with our practice, then we will succeed one day. You will succeed one day. All you need to do now is to make an aspiration, a strong wish that through all the merits, all the good things which you have done, may these merits pave the way for you to make the right connections, to meet authentic teachers, and that you will have the opportunity to further develop and purify your minds. Purify your minds from the tendencies of greed, hatred, and delusion. Cultivating the qualities of generosity, loving kindness, and wisdom. This will put you on the right path, the path to your final liberation. So may the blessings of the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha be with you all. And may your wish come true. May you be an inspiration to all. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Budang sarana kacami Dangmang sarana kacami Sanggang sarana kacami Puna-puna sarana
Sadhu, Sadhu, fortunate son and daughters, I bless the whole world with metta by the virtue and the powers of the Buddha, by the truth of the Dhamma, by the glory of the Mahasanga, may all Corona victims recover past. May all doctors and nurses who are working so tirelessly on the front line be safe and protected by Devas. May the noble triple gem bless the whole world and soon regain the economical prosperity and success. May all beings be free from suffering, diseases, greed and fear. May they well and happy. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Buddham Sharanam Gacha Dharmam Sharanam Gacha Me Sangham Sharanam Gacha Me Buddham Sharanam Gacha Me Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami Buddham Sharanam Gachami Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami On this very auspicious day, I would like to pay my homage to all the enlightened Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, to all and everyone in the Mahasangha. First of all, I would like to express my deepest gratitude and congratulation to International Buddhist Confederation for making such an effort to organize this very virtual celebration of Buddha Purnima all over the world. And thank you for inviting me to be part of this. As we are all going through this very special experience in our life because of coronavirus, COVID-19, we are not able to celebrate this very auspicious day physically together. But still, we can celebrate it virtually, thanks to the technology. It's really sad so many people around the world losing their precious precious lives so many people who are infected are afraid of losing their lives precious lives and those who are not infected are afraid of being infected so much anxiety so much pain so much grief are in the air these days i truly pray with the blessing of all the enlightened beings Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, all the compassionate living beings. May we be able to pacify all the pains, griefs, and anxiety from this COVID-19 very soon. And we get to learn the actual lesson that we really are supposed to learn from this experience. So everyone, I pledge you to stay safe, take good care of yourself, and take good care of people around you. Thank you so much.
My name is Bhikkhu Nandisena. I'm the abbot of the Dhamma Vihara Monastery, Mexico. Greetings from Mexico. This is a message for the World Buddhist Prayer Meet to be held on May 16th, 2020, at the end of the Global Prayer Week. Karuna for Corona Initiative by the International Buddhist Confederation, India. In these unprecedented times for humanity, the Buddha's teachings are more relevant than ever. This global pandemic has made quite clear, quite evident to the world the first noble truths, the noble truths of suffering discovered by the Buddha 2,600 years ago. Fortunately, the Buddha also discovered that there is an origin, there is a cessation, and there is a practice that leads to the end of suffering. Nowadays, in the context of this coronavirus pandemic, what is most important is the practice of the Buddha's teachings, in particular, the practice of compassion and wisdom. Wisdom and compassion. Compassion needs wisdom to be effective. And wisdom needs compassion to help eradicate suffering. If wisdom was what made possible the enlightenment of the Buddha, and if compassion was what moved the Buddha to help humanity to overcome suffering, we do not need to look any further for guidance regarding what to do in these difficult times. In this coronavirus pandemic times, wisdom means to follow the advice of the scientific community, to follow the advice of the public health authorities at the local, national, and international level. And compassion means helping those who are suffering, helping those who are in dire need. We need to open our hearts to understand, to comprehend suffering and give a helping hand in whatever way possible and available to us so we can help others. There is so much suffering around us, it is not difficult to find someone who needs help. Let us do that and help remove some suffering from the world. In these times, also the practice of mindfulness is important to prevent and remove the arising of unwholesome mental states like fear worry, anxiety, and so on. Furthermore, let us practice right speech, protecting truthfulness at all times. In these times of social distancing, in these times of sense pleasure deprivation, let us remember and practice the Buddha's words that contentment is the greatest gain. Let us practice these teachings diligently and see by ourselves that these teachings can alleviate and remove suffering, that these teachings of the Buddha are effective. Finally, I would like to do a prayer in Pali, the language 
that according to the Theravada tradition was used by the Buddha to convey to the world his discovery of the Four Noble Truths and other things too. Dukkha patacha ni dukkha, vaya patacha ni vaya, soka patacha ni soka, hontu sabe pi pani no. May suffering ones be suffering free, and the fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief and all beings find relief. Thank you for listening. Most venerables, venerables, Dhamma brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the world and humanity are in agony because of COVID-19. Also, every everyday life is not moving normally. We hope that COVID-19 will end soon. On the 30th of April, the Buddha's birthday celebration day was postponed to May 30th because of COVID. Korean Buddhism is the day of Buddha's birthday celebration on April 8th by the lunar calendar. Fortunately, this year, there was a lunar month in April of the lunar calendar. So we decided to hold Dharma ceremony to commemorate the Buddha's birthday on the 8th of April, leap month by the lunar calendar. Annual meetings and various related events are held magnificently, but this year almost all are cancelled and the Buddha's birthday celebration will be held on May 30th of next month. Now many Buddhist temples in Korea are praying for the end of COVID-19. COVID-19, which is not helpful for mankind, quickly disappears and wishes normal life to come back. International Buddhist activities are also completely suspended. Many Korean Buddhists and monks are unable to attend Indian Buddhist pilgrimages or international Buddhist events. COVID-19 quickly ended, eliminating the suffering of humanity and spreading the Buddha's right dharma. On behalf of the all Korean Buddhists, I wish many old Buddhist friends be happy and to have wisdom of the Buddha. Thank you. 감사합니다. From Korea, Venerable Bogom. Dear brothers and sisters in the Dharma, dear friends, fellow earthlings, it's a great pleasure to be with you here today and an honor during prayer week. And I would like to talk to you about something today that is very close to my heart. We come together here during prayer week at a time because the world is facing three unprecedented global crisis. The first is the one that is affected most of our lives quite severely. It's the coronavirus pandemic, which has infected nearly four and a half million people around the world and killed close to 300,000. The second is species loss. More than one million species are at risk of extinction. We are losing species faster today than we have ever throughout human history. Globally, for example, the number of trees has been reduced to about 46% since the start of human civilization. Do no harm and take only what is freely given. 
The third crisis is climate change. The World Bank estimates that climate change could force more than 100 million people into extreme poverty by 2030. The World Health Organization expects climate change to cause an estimated 250,000 additional annual human deaths between 2030, 2030 and 2050. This figure does not take account of factors such as human reduced um, such as reduced farming output as a result of higher temperatures or illnesses and deaths tied to disruption in health services caused by extreme weather and climate events. Reduced food production alone is predicted to lead to a net increase of 529,000 adult deaths by 2050. The impact on wild and domestic animals too will be immense. So while the climate, while climate change moves at a slower pace, it grows like a tree. The pandemic that we are all suffering from at the moment is moving like a racehorse. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why we are taking it so much more seriously and why we have responded so much more readily. So there we have it, climate change, species loss and the coronavirus pandemic. All these three crises are crises of our own making. Each has arisen because of our unwillingness to respect and honour the interdependence between nature and ourselves. It is like we are at war with nature. But there has never been, nor can there ever be, a winner in this war. Least of us, least of all us. The vast majority, that's exactly three out of every four of new infectious diseases in people come from animals. From wildlife and from livestock, which we keep in, in la ever larger numbers, mostly in terrible conditions to feed ourselves in ever larger numbers. The coronavirus is no exception. It is believed to have made the jump to people from bats or another wildlife host associated with markets in China. We may be tempted to think of ourselves as the victims of nature in this pandemic, but if we look honestly at the facts, the reverse is true. The animals are not the problem here. They have been around longer than us and they have carried viruses for millennia. There has been no change there. But what has changed is our numbers and the way we interact with nature and with animals. Since I was born, the human population of this world has more than doubled. We have claimed more and more space and more and more of nature for ourselves, encroaching into wild areas, destroying them and their inhabitants, or we're for forcing them to try and survive in our world. We also treat them like commodities, catch, imprison, mutilate and kill them, torment them to feed, clothe or entertain us, without giving it a second thought. The suffering we have caused is immeasurable. These interactions have caused increasing contact with people, between animals and people, and contact is exactly what viruses need to jump from animals to us. COVID-19 is not the first virus that has jumped from animals to humans. As far back as the 14th century, the Black Death, which killed between 75 and 200,000, 200 million people. The flu pandemic between 1889 and, 90, and 1890 killed about 1 million people. The Spanish flu pandemic, 1918, with a death toll of 20 to 50 million people. 
that was transmitted is believed to be transmitted from poultry and pigs to human beings. Asian flu, so called, 1957, with a death toll of two million, comes from is believed to come from wild ducks or poultry to humans. The big flu pandemic of 1968, a death toll of one million comes to us from poultry, pigs. HIV, death toll to date of about 36 million people, came from Africa through primates, apes, a chimpanzee. SARS, epidemic, 2002-2004, nearly just over 8,000 um, infected and 774 deaths. Swine flu, a death toll of um, up to 575,000 people, came to us from pigs, believed from Mexico. And then, um, so we see that this is not an exception. But the frequency with which these jumps have happened have increased over the, um, in recent decades. And this will also, this novel coronavirus epidemic will not be our last. Coronaviruses are in particular are very common amongst wild animals and bird populations around the world. So because of us, species that have evolved separately are now mixing. We keep and kill animals without compassion, crippling their immune system in captivity, and in doing so, making more susceptible, making them more susceptible to diseases and infections because of the stress and the fear and the pain they undergo while they are in our hands. Stressed animals and immunocompromised animals are unable to fend off diseases as well as healthy animals. And because of the way we treat them, animals in our care are often not healthy. And that goes from food to medicine, to fur, to milk, any intensive farming and any keeping, animals belong in the wild, animals belong in the wild. We then move them in their body parts around the globe on boats, cars, trains, and planes, and in doing so, we give the virus a free ride. All as Buddhists, we need to ask ourselves, if we want a future without pandemics, what would the Buddha do? What would he advise us to do to create a world without pandemics in which we live in harmony with other beings? The first two precepts give us some idea of how we can modify our behavior to create a better world. I started this discourse by stating that next to climate change and species loss, the COVID-19 pandemic are crises of our own making. They are the result of dependent arising, the result of our actions. That's the bad news, but there is also immense hope in that because it shows us that we hold the key to making things better. Only four months ago, who would have thought that we would be able to introduce the changes to our lives that have become our new normal now under the great lockdown? Perhaps we need some urgent social distancing from animals, except for those that are in need of our help and support. I would like to conclude by thanking our most venerable Dharma masters, who have long since urged us to live with compassion and wisdom towards all sentient beings, cultivating boundless love for them and extend the love of a mother for her only child towards them. As we stand at this critical crossroads, we depend on their guidance more than ever before. May all beings be happy and free from suffering. Thank you. B.
Be safe, be kind, go well. Hello everybody and greetings. I hope everyone is well and happy. And even if you're not feeling too good, may you be blessed with a quick recovery and experience good health, well-being and a peaceful mind. Buddhist teachings recognize an interconnection between everything. This is the essence of the Avatamsaka Sutra. The theme of ultimate interdependence and interpenetration is best reflected in the jewel net of Indra, a visual image of a net strewn through space with sparkling multifaceted jewels hanging from each of its countless interstices. Because of the interreflection among jewels, the appearance of each jewel depends on the appearance of other jewels, just as all things in the world reflect the influence of other things. As human beings, we depend on each other for our survival. And when we have a genuine sense of responsibility towards others, we understand the concept of interconnectivity. The COVID-19 pandemic therefore gives us in a moment to see this truth more clearly. Even with mundane actions such as taking care of our personal hygiene when we wash our hands or put on a mask when we leave home, we are in, in fact helping to protect others in as much as we protect ourselves. The Buddha told a story in the Siddhaka Sutta in the Pali Canon how the well-being of others start with ourselves. If we are mindful and diligent in taking care to avoid being infected by the virus, we are also helping to prevent the spread of the infection to the community. This pandemic that we experience serves as a profound opportunity to recognize and honor our interdependence. As we have a deep connection to all beings, now is a perfect time to practice love and compassion from the them. It's time to switch from me to we. In the Brahma Vihara Sutta, the Buddha advises to practice the four sublime states, loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. Loving kindness is boundless love, whereby we wish everyone happiness, wellness, and peace. That would, of course, include ourselves. When we radiate such thoughts with sincerity, it becomes a powerful tool in our minds. And because we infuse such noble qualities in our mind, we too become calm and peaceful. Compassion is our second sublime state. It is the quivering of the heart in response to suffering. Just like loving kindness, we practice compassion not just for ourselves, but for others. Responding to compassion with our own suffering gives rise to compassion for others. As Venerable Pema Chodron, the American Tibetan Buddhist nuns, has to say, sorrow has the same exact taste for all of us. The third sublime state is called sympathetic joy. Finding moments of joy each day during the pandemic will help us to endure peacefully. Surely you can find some personal happiness, such as not having to commute, spending more time with the family, your ability to read your favourite book, and doing something at home which you were not able to do previously. The third sublime state is also about rejoicing in the kindness of others. We rejoice when we hear about ordinary folks sharing their food with the elderly neighbours, about, about young and uh, ordinary folks donating masks and money to buy protective equipment to the hospitals, and of frontline nurses and doctors risking their lives to help COVID-19 patients. Equanimity is the fourth sublime state. It refers to a mind that is calm and steady in the face of our lives' ups and downs. It means opening our hearts and minds not just to pleasant experiences, but also unpleasant experiences. The late Lama Yeshe beautifully expresses the essence of equanimity when he said, if you expect your life to be up and down, your mind will be much more peaceful. Let us therefore start our day with this thoughtful prayer of the four sublime states so that our thoughts will be translated into positive words and positive actions when we meet with others. Let us make this prayer. May all sentient beings have happiness and its causes. 
May all sentient beings be free of suffering and its causes. May all sentient beings never be separated from joy and happiness. May all sentient beings always be in equanimity, free of bias, attachment and anger. With this short prayer, I hope you will remain safe, healthy and peaceful. May the blessings of the three joes be with you always. Thank you, IBC, for this Global Prayer Week, and thank you for giving me this opportunity. The coronavirus is the biggest challenge to humanity, and it has all locked us up in our homes and stilled all activities. Some say it's the birth of a new world, and birth is painful. But we have caused a lot of pain to this earth, and we forgot that we are all interdependent on the ecosystem. I wrote a book on Nagarjuna and I feel very blessed that His Holiness the Dalai Lama gave the foreword to it. His Holiness pointed out that the Indian philosophy of non-violence, which has been there from ancient times, and, in, and pluralism and tolerance, is of great value to the world today. Nagarjuna highlighted the importance of interdependence in existence. The Buddha, who was an Indian prince, would have been enculturated in the Sanatan Dharma, which teaches us the reverence of, for all living and non-living beings. But we have lost our reverence for this earth. As Global Envoy of the IBC, I had the privilege of hosting a lunch for His Holiness when he was in London on his 80th birthday tour. He gave a teaching on the ethics of business, which was quite appropriate because the invited guest list included billionaires and millionaires. But he also brought us joy by recounting anecdotes. And for example, he said when he was a little boy, and not paying attention to his studies, it created a dilemma for his tutors because how do you beat the Dalai Lama even if he's six or eight years old? So they created a holy whip with yellow silk threads. And he laughed when he recounted this, saying, it was a holy whip, but I felt holy pain. Nagarjuna wrote many things. But he also wrote, you dwell among the causes of death, like a butter lamp standing in a strong breeze. The coronavirus has already killed about 300,000 people in the world in a short time. Buddhist environmental ethics belong not just inside the covers of sacred texts, or inside the robes of monks and monasteries. But they are to be practiced in our daily life, out on the street, and live in, so that we live mindfully and with respect for all. Human actions, good, bad, moral, immoral, impact the environment. And the environment impacts us. My charity, Lily Against Human Trafficking works for abused and exploited women and girls. We run sheltered homes and free schools for the poorest because education is the key to get out of poverty. And some of these children have gone on to high paid jobs in the IT sector. We want to free them from slavery because unless they are free, we are not free. We are all part of the same energy. And I've written a book on the theme of my charity, which is Mother and Child. And the title is Dear Mama. It is a collection of letters from eminent personalities to their own mothers. And some of them are very intimate letters. His Holiness the Dalai Lama has again been very kind to me in giving a letter for the book and he writes 
My mother was the first teacher of compassion. Those who receive affection from their mothers as children have much greater inner peace in their adult lives. And he also added, while men and women are fundamentally equal, I feel women have an important role to play in making the 21st century a period of peace. And the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi says that he hopes this book will inspire lead readers to commit themselves to furthering the cause of women's empowerment. And Sir Cliff Richard, that pop icon, has written a very moving letter to his mother in which he also says, you who I can never forget and I will always love because we do love our mothers even if they're no longer with us. In the 21st century, we live in knowledge economies and here men and women are equal. When the internet develops knowledge and delivers it to our desks, then it's a different world and gender is irrelevant. And so the real karmic task of the 21st century is to reconcile matter and spirit. And we have to heal the earth. We have waged wars on a bosom. We have colored our sands and seas, bred with the blood of millions. We have choked the oceans with plastic. And someone said that now maybe the law of karma is staring us in the face because karma never forgets an address. This came to me. Namaskar, this is Mohit Chahan. It's the Global Prayer Week, a great initiative by IBC. In these difficult times, let's all come together and pray so that there's some relief to the people who are suffering under coronavirus and also for the people who are fighting against it and keeping all of us safe. People like the medical staff, the doctors, nurses, everyone who's on the front line. So here are these two lines, uh, a prayer from the Himalayas. Shiv ke ke vasi, dhali dharon ke raja, shankar sankat harna. Shankar Sankat Harana O Bhole Baba Shankar Sankat Harana Om Mane Pame Om Mane Pame Om Om Mane Pame Om Karuna for Corona. Tashi Dele and Salam from Malaysia. On behalf of the Rajayana Buddhist Council of Malaysia, I would like to offer our warmest greetings to everyone at this World Buddhist Prayer Meet. Thank you to the organizers, IBC, for inviting the Vajrayana Buddhist Council of Malaysia to share a few words for this global meet. The coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic, has been a disaster for countless people of this world for the last four months. For the millions who have been infected and hundreds of thousands who have died, as well as the billions of people who have been locked down and confined to their respective homes. Let us pray together 
with compassion and solidarity with these patients. Nevertheless, human beings have proven to be quite resilient. Throughout our history, we always innovate and come up with solutions in the face of adversities. Now, with the use of online technology to meet and discuss, global communication has begun on an unprecedented manner. In a way, this is much more efficient as we have saved money, time and travelling needs. And we are able to communicate in such a way which is safe and maintain our social distancing. No doubt, this cannot be face-to-face -face meeting, but we can at least get a certain amount of things done. We know that good dialogue and good communication is the key to solving many societal problems. Problems between country and country and problems between people and people. With the global use of such an online meetings, this has cut down a certain barrier. We are no longer constrained by certain restrictions that prevent us from traveling to certain countries. We are free to talk and communicate with anyone whom we wish. Hence, we applaud and encourage IBC to continue the good work to build this kind of networks among the Buddhist communities of the world. Imagine if this can be extended to other religious communities. First, leaders with leaders, then down to grassroots religious communities. The amount of goodwill and trust built up will be tremendous. Thank you again. Wishing IBC all the best with these efforts. May all beings be free from suffering and achieve liberation and enlightenment as soon as possible. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Sangaya. Thank you. Namo Buddhaya. I'm Tan, President of Young Buddhist Association of Malaysia. On behalf of Malaysia Buddhist Youth, we would like to congratulate the Global Prayer Week initiated by IBC. Done very well. Done a good job managed to reach over 100,000 people across the world. As you know, the Global Prayer Weeks was dedicated to pray for the victims of COVID-19 global pandemic, for their family, for the medical professional, and for all frontline workers' servings to protect and lead the humanity efforts. Sabe Sata Suke Hondu. My name is Kempo uh, Randolph. I'm a president of uh, Dun Buddhist uh, Committee. And we are very happy to uh, hear that uh, International Buddhist Confederation, IBC, uh, arranged such a very important uh, global uh, uh, the week long uh, the prayers uh, on this occasion i also would like to share uh, the few words and also i would like to uh, share my prayers for all mother sentient beings uh, as we know that uh, because of uh, covid-19 the pandemics the thousands of thousands of people uh, suffering by uh, physically, uh, emotionally, mentally, and as well as uh, financially. Uh, to solve this kind of uh, the problems, uh, as uh, Shantideva, the one of the great Indian, the Buddhist, the master, so he said in uh, the text called The Way of Bodhisattva Life, he said that if the problem can be solved, what reason is there to be upset? If there is a no possible solution, so what there is being said, so that means if the problem cannot solve, so there's no point keep worrying and worrying. So therefore on this the occasion, uh, we have to remember uh, the noble teachings of <clears throat> our Lord Buddha that he clearly 
uh, taught about the, the, the impermanent. So instead of keep worrying, so this is the exact the time that we have to extend our the prayer and good wishes to recover all these uh, the problems uh, that what are happening in this uh, the world. So on behalf of uh, Dun Buddhist Community here, I would like to also would like to send uh, the prayers to the world uh, to. Uh, free from all those uh, uh, different kind of uh, suffering and the wishing prayer is so important so if we, if we manage to make the wishing prayer so things also can be the fulfilled as per our wishes so therefore uh, i also would like to request all of you to make prayers and auspicious prayer and wishing prayer instead of keep worrying so now i would like to uh, to begin uh, chanting short prayer for all mother sentient beings. Oh, Jiden Dejin Lole Dan, Duna Pigeon, Chebe Dan, Dele Tamje, Dubai, Ila Duba Kondo, Jo, Loya, Sojin, Donga, Don Wadan, Selling Name, Degi, Ponzomzo, Tegwa, Chola, and Yawala Jinek, Taji de Ganden, Dele, Jo, Sonam Dobjin, the Dojinda Kordan, Janam, La Sede, Sambe, Don Doji. Parje jina daje ba samba chujin du bara jo tenbe ba yur lame je ba jo tenzin ke bo sadin yon la ke tenbe jinda nga dan jo wa ye tenba yurin ne be daje jo zemje ne ba jinye ba nyurdu ne la ta gyoj do ye na ne ma lo ba ta do jun wa me bara jo chan jo sem jo rin ba je ma ge ba nam ke gyoj Kiva nyamba meba yankona kondo pelwara shu. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya. On behalf of His Holiness Tigun Kyamgun Chesan Rinpoche's monasteries in Dehradun, we would like to extend our gratitude and supporting to IBC for your great initiative Karuna for Corona and here I would like to pray for all sentient beings specialists suffering from coronavirus ondo <laughs> Ayada o bega jem bega jema bega jem bega Ranza samonga de soha Gewa de nyadota Sangye manye la zwa dru gira jem drawa jigya malo ba de sala ho gira jem Sim jem neba jinye pa nyadu nere te gira Drewe nene malo ba da do jungwa me ba jo Janjo semjo rinpo che pa ge pa nam ge Ge wa nyan ba me ba yon kwa ne kwa ndo pe wa jo
Take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha. I pray for all those sick, in fear and in agony. I pray for all the governments and people involved in the effort to stop the disease. May all this contamination cease like the sound of a bell. May peace and happiness prevail for all. <laughs> Dupo malu jungze zangwe dang, kanjin ke pe sungken so pa pa, lo sang drape shava so wa de. O mamarani jiwanda iswa. May all those who are suffering from COVID 19 recover immediately. May all those who are suffering because their families or their friends are suffering, may they find lasting peace. May all those courageous health workers and those providing essential services have perfect health and all they need to continue their essential work. May the social, economic, and political impact of COVID-19 be ceased by the power of the Three Jewels. We dedicate this merit to these intentions. Thank you. 
Mi mel se vet in cencia di zidri, mi che impio un po' già un paio, dopo un malo di un zisanghe da un genco in pezzo di un zon capa, lo zandra pascia la sua, né? Che possamos passare per essa pandemia rapidamente, che todos os profissionais di saúde tenham boa saúde para poder cuidar dos doentes. This is from Bodhisattva Chalavadara, from Master Shantideva. I happily rejoice in the virtue of all sentient beings, which relieves the suffering of the miserable states of existence. May those who suffer dwell in happiness. May the fearful become fearless, and those who struck with grief find joy. May the despondent become resolute and free of trepidation. May the ill have good health. May they be free from every bondage. May the weak become strong and have affectionate heart for one another. May deities protect the dull, the insane, the deranged, the helpless, the young, and the elderly, and those in danger from sickness, the wildness, and so on. May they be free from all lack of leisure. May they be endowed with faith, wisdom, and compassion. Mi mette se vede il cencene zidri, mi che impiego un po' già impiegando, più malo già usi son e da, ganci anche pezzo vinto son capallo, se andrà a pasciare la sua adepo, un mare pazza na di. May all the suffering of those who are sick, sick with or died from COVID-19 and their families cease. May all other sufferings like economic, political or social problems cease. May all the prejudice and violence that arise from these situations also cease. In this world crisis, that we all may develop actions that lead to renounce suffering, to develop altruism and to a better understanding of reality. We dedicate all the merits to the complete enlightenment of all sentient beings. Formada por bilhões de dedicatórias e aspirações, famosa e renomada, o reino do êxtase, Sukhavati, onde mesmo o nome sofrimento não se ouve, ali, com o nascimento vindo de um loto celestial, surgido sem obstáculo entre mil pétalas, poder ver a vossa forma, ouvir vossas palavras, depois ouvir sobre o Mahayana. Que eu faça como Avalokitevara e Vajrapani e volte para libertar aqueles afundados no Sansara. Eu sou o Lobisão do G, Brasil, e dedico todos os méritos a todas as vítimas, todas as pessoas, e que nos vejamos livres do coronavírus. Muito obrigado. Om Mani Peme Hum, Om Ha Patsana Ji. I dedicate all the merits of listening and reflecting on the Buddha's teaching so that all human beings have a peaceful mind in this pandemic period. I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha. May all the suffering that's been caused by the coronavirus be stopped. May everyone who's suffering because of it recover. May the suffering of all family members, friends, and everyone who's feeling the consequences of this pandemic be stopped. May everyone have peace in this difficult time. To those intentions and dedicate this merit. Um Amarani Jivantei Svarra. Que todos os seres que estão sofrendo, direto ou indiretamente, por causa do coronavírus, seja por questões físicas, econômicas, sociais, psicológicas, que todos possam se libertar desses sofrimentos. Que todos os profissionais essenciais da saúde, da limpeza, da alimentação, entre outros, que todos eles tenham energia e possam desenvolver esforço e alegria para lidar com as dificuldades que estão aparecendo no seu dia a dia. Que todos aqueles que estão sofrendo ou sofreram por causa da morte, seja porque morreram, seja porque perderam alguém, que todos possam se libertar do sofrimento dos renascimentos descontrolados, da mudança e do luto. Dedico todos os méritos para que todos esses sofrimentos cessem e para que a partir de agora possamos cultivar as causas para transformar esse mundo em uma terra de alegria e felicidade. Namu Araya Tareya 
Devas e Ashuras curvam suas coroas aos seus pés de lótus. Ó libertadora de todo o infortúnio, a ti mãe Arayatare, eu me prostro. Through this recitation, I dedicate all merits in order for the swift recovery for all coronavirus patients. May they all find peace, tranquility back in their homes. May, may they all help each other. May all doctors, nurses, and healthcare system professionals find comfort, find every working condition in order to save many people as possible. May all people who are impacted by the coronavirus be free from this suffering. May all governments, politicians and economists choose altruism in their actions. May all professionals who fight to save people's lives be protected by love and compassion. I dedicate all the merits so that the suffering caused by the coronavirus ceases. Om Amarani Jvanche Svaha Om Muni Muni Mahamuni Mahasam Muni Samyak Sambodhi Svaha Sarva Samskara Nitya Sarva Samskara Dukkha Sarva Dharma Shunyata Nirvana Chaksamta Om Amarani Jvanche Svaha May all those who died from the coronavirus have a good rebirth and achieve as soon as possible the state of nirvana and the full enlightenment. May all their families find peace in these hard times. May all, may all doctors have strength and faith to help the sick ones. And may all the causal conditions that sustain this virus be ceased. I dedicate merit to all this. Sangye chatan sakhi chagnam la jantri kapsuchi Daging in soggy pets on anki, draw up and cheers in jeddry parshon. We made some way to change cheers in, we make a pair one porch and pair, the puma luge and wait so eda, can check in pets against some kappa, los and rapacha plus so ade. Oh, my mother needs you and she is vaha. May all beings have happiness in its causes, may all beings be set free of suffering in its causes. May all beings be inseparable of the happiness with no suffering. May all beings dwell in equanimity, free of the attachment and hate extremes. May we all beat the coronavirus. Sanje chodan soki chonam la janchu badu dani kapsushi dage sinje kipe tsonan ki drola penche sanje drupai shu. May all sentient beings who are suffering because of the coronavirus be released of the pain. May those who are contaminated recover the health soon, and those who passed away have happy rebirths. May all of them live their lives close to virtuous actions and the right view, far from the causes of suffering. All of those who are in the front line of the battle have the strength and the right motivation to develop their generosity of taking care of the others. May the whole world recover from all of this situation soon enough. I dedicate this so all of us can be released from samsara. Minete we to change it is in dreamy can be one po jumpo ya do po malo jonze so ed ganchi can be to gain some kappa losandra pe shala so ade. Oh my name is Vanchezva. May all those who are suffering from the coronavirus epidemic and their families, loved ones, those who are suffering emotionally or physically or psychologically because of this disease, may them be free from suffering and may all this suffering all over the world may be seized by the power of the three jewels. And to these intentions, we dedicate this merit. I dedicate merits for all the people that are ill by the coronavirus, wish they, that they can recover quickly. For all those that are suffering physically and emotionally, that they may pass through this pandemic and with security. And for all the professionals who are working in all front lines, that they can keep safe and healthy. 
ओम हमारा निजवा चे स्वाहा For all the people who are suffering from the disease caused by the coronavirus, to those who die from it, to those who are suffering from the loss of their loved ones, to those who are suffering from war during this period, May of them find relief from pain and sadness. May of the sufferings be ceased. To two intentions we dedicate this merit. May all beings have happiness and the cause of happiness. May they be free of suffering and this cause of suffering. May they never be disassociated from the supreme happiness which is without suffering. May they remain in the boundless equanimity, free from both attachment to close ones and rejection of others. Wish all this suffering guide everyone for a more compassive world. Mimetse weter chen chen rezi, drime kimpe wampo jampe yang, dupum malu jonze san wei dag. Gan chen kimpe tso gen tson kapa, lo tsam drape shala tso ade. May all those who are suffering from the coronavirus be healed. May all this suffering be ceased. May all those who are conversely suffering because of the suffering of others, may all them be healed. May all the economical and political turmoil, as well as the social negative impact of this coronavirus be ceased by the power of the three Jews. To those intentions, We dedicate this merit. Busco refúgio até realizar o completo despertar no Buda, no Dharma, na Sangha, pela prática da generosidade e das demais superações. Possa eu realizar o completo despertar para beneficiar a todos os seres sencientes, em especial todos que estiveram e estão doentes, sofrentes por conta do coronavírus e todos que sucumbiram, que lhe seja possível alcançar a paz definitiva e o completo despertar. Com a investigação e experimentação nos ensinamentos para extrair a essência dessa preciosa vida humana, como ouro que é refinado e polido, que as minhas virtudes sejam agradáveis como os melhores perfumes aos Budas, que minha concentração meditativa seja como os melhores incensos, e que minha prática virtuosa de observar os defeitos e tristezas do samsara seja como o sabor dos alimentos mais maravilhosos para os seres despertos e seus filhos. Dedico todo o mérito gerado para o benefício de todos os seres sancientes e para o benefício da humanidade, para que possamos, juntos, enfrentar esse grande momento que passamos.